Anti-Kiev protesters in the eastern Ukrainian city of Lugansk have given an ultimatum to the post-coup government. They say they want a referendum to be held within 10 days on whether to break away and join Russia. That's their response to demands to leave occupied buildings or face a crackdown. A deadline that has now passed. Graham Phillips, he is in the centre of the standoff. The SBU building now in its sixth day of occupation by pro-Russia activists. The deadline given of 12 o'clock by the Kiev government for them to vacate that building wasn't acknowledged by them. And they tell us at RT they do not acknowledge that government and will not accept any ultimatums given by them. What people here are saying is they want a referendum. Behind me, we can see barricades. They're fortifying barricades. They're building fires to keep themselves warm here in Lugansk in these sub-zero conditions. There are reports of snipers arrived here and real fears of actions manifesting over the weekend. For now, we wait to see what's going to happen. They didn't let us in the building once more as that administrative centre does go into lockdown as the days ahead seem set to see more scenes of action here in Lugansk. The interim president has promised not to persecute protesters that leave voluntarily, but dissent is still spreading throughout the east and south. In Odessa, seven people have been injured in clashes between supporters and opponents of the post-coup government. Meanwhile, in Donetsk, those occupying the local administration buildings are holding their ground. The interim prime minister is in the restive city right now, and he refused to meet with protest leaders, despite earlier claims that Kiev was ready indeed for dialogue. He did say, however, that regions should be allowed local referendums, which is currently against state law. Artis Mirifonosian reports now from behind the barricades in Donetsk. Ukraine's interior minister gave a 48-hour deadline to anti-Kiev protesters inside this 11-storey regional administration building in the center of Donetsk to free it and to end the siege. But as you can see, the deadline already expired on Friday, but protesters are still here. And we hear that more and more people join this movement. And just this night, a large group of mine workers from the region's numerous mines came here to show their solidarity with protesters and to support them. These people want a referendum to get more independence from Kiev to be held here in this region. People continue fortifying uh, not only the entrance of this building but also surrounding area. They use uh, sandbags, barbed wire, bricks, tires, uh, pieces of old cars and uh, actually everything that could be used to firm up barricades. People protect themselves as well. We see more and more masked, camouflaged uh, young men carrying manshift clubs and shields, wearing construction helmets like this one. Marif Arti from Donetsk in Ukraine. The plans to crack down could run into an unexpected hurdle. As Maria reports on her Twitter feed at the moment, special riot police units have reportedly refused to storm the buildings occupied by protesters. They say attacking civilians is against the law and not part of their duties. Keep an eye on Maria's feed for the latest.